So what is exactly query folding in Power BI? Uh, let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Imagine that you have got a huge pile of clothes to wash. Now you can wash these clothes manually, but there is a problem. It will take a lot of time. Secondly, you will be exhausted okay, to clean those clothes manually. So you have got a washing machine. What you will do? You will collect all those clothes and put it in the washing machine and washing machine will help you to clean it. Now what happens is uh, with the help of washing machine, you were able to save your time. Secondly, you did not waste your energy for cleaning those clothes, right? So exactly in the similar manner, query folding works. So let me explain how it works in case of Power BI. Uh, you have got a data in Power BI. So you go to Power Query, you perform certain transformation operations. Okay. So those transformations are performed in which language in Power Query. So those are performed in M Query. So what happens is Power BI will Power BI will collect those transformations which are in M Query and convert these transformations to the source language. What is the source language? What is source? Source is basically let's just say that the data I am fetching from SQL. So what will happen? The transformations that we are performing will be converted from M language to SQL and pushed and those transformations will be pushed back to SQL. So whatever the transformation needs to be done instead of doing them in Power BI, those will be done in SQL. After the transformations are done, only the requested, only the required data will be fetched in the Power BI. So this is how query folding works in Power BI. Now let us see how to do this practically using Power BI. Okay. So now let us practically see how exactly query folding works. It's very easy. Uh, first of all, just click on this transform data button and go to the Power Query. Uh, within Power Query, we have got these two tables. Okay. So what I will do, first of all, let's just say that I want to remove certain columns. So I will remove, let's say this column and apart from that within the customers tables, uh, let's just say that I want to separate these two names. So what I will do within these two tables, I will perform certain uh, transformations. Okay. And then I will show you how exactly query folding works. So let's just say that I want to perform the transformation here on this uh, column that I want to split the column based on the delimiter that is space. So leftmost delimiter is space, then I will separate the column. So I am able to separate. Okay. I have done the splitting. So what you need to do is you just need to right click on this and see this view native query. This is not enabled. That means no, no query folding has happened in this particular step. Now what I will do, I'll go to order table. And this time around uh, within the order date, let's just say that I do not want certain dates. So I will unfilter. So I will deselect these dates and then I'll click on the OK button. Uh, after I perform this step, I will right click on this uh, filtered row step. And in this time, when we see that view native query is enabled, so I will click on this. And as we can see, this is the M language query. Okay. So what exactly happened in this case is that query folding happened for this particular step. And what exactly happened? This is the M language which gets converted to the SQL native language. Then this transformation happened in SQL and we have got the expected data in here within the Power BI. Okay. So that's how it works. Now looking at this data, you may think that is it really worth it? Is it really helpful? Yes, it is helpful because this is a small data. But when you work in the real time scenario, it will be a huge data. It will have millions of rows, right? So we cannot ask Power BI to perform transformation for the millions of rows, right? That, that would be a huge load on the Power BI and on the system and it will stop working. So that's why rather than Power BI doing it itself, it will push these operations back to SQL. SQL will perform the transformations and bring the data back to Power BI. That's how it works. I hope this is clear to you. Please practice it at your end as well. Thank you so much for watching.